So you want to replace your rear panels on your Vanian. So do I. I did the right side. I did not film it because I really had no idea what I'm doing. Now I'm going to do the left side. I have about 10% more idea what I'm doing. Not much though. That's the panel I'll be putting on on the other side. These panels are from Bus Depot. Probably because they are right next to me. And I can go pick stuff up there. Especially these big bulky things that are shipping intensive. I would like to start with two PSAs. Number one is that YouTube has changed its monetization policy. And in order to put ads on there now, you need to have thousands of hits and thousands of subscribers. That's why you're seeing a lot of people say subscribe, 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 because you need a lot of subscribers. So please subscribe to my channel. Normally I didn't ask that because I just put ads on there, but now I can't have ads anymore. And second is for the YouTube trolls who keep coming to my videos and saying you have no idea what you're doing. I know I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm showing you how I'm doing it. And I always tell you, you can do your own video and post it here, but nobody's taking me up on that offer. So if you are a YouTube troll, please move along. So you can see, this looks like now this is two pieces. We're gonna be replacing this. This is a bunch of welded pieces in here. But every time I fix it, you see what happens. I'm replacing all this here. It's only one piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this entire piece here. That matches the piece that we're replacing it with. So, as you can see, I'm going to replace this whole back piece as one panel as opposed to the two that originally was. Let's talk about tools a moment. This is an inexpensive pair of air shears. This was completely inadequate. Number one is because my compressor couldn't keep up with them. And even when it was working, they didn't work very well. I ended up using a sawzall and a hacksaw to take the other panel off. That was very painful. So today, we have purchased a set of uh, shears from Harbor Freight. These are Harbor Freight's best shears. That's kind of like the dollar store's best shampoo, but I actually tried these out and they seem to work a little bit better. So let's start by cutting off the panel. So if you're doing the right side and you want to learn from my mistakes, I did not measure out how far to match this up with this. So I had this, remember this door is off when you're doing the driver's side, I mean the passenger side. So what I should have done was measure that. So keep that in mind. I drilled a hole so I get the shears in there. And I'm gonna cut along here because the uh, extra panel has a lip. I'm gonna glue onto top here. These shears are adequate. I'm fighting with them a little bit, but they work a lot better than the other ones did. This is what we call spring in Pennsylvania. People in Arizona would love it here. Then again, nobody from Arizona He's watching a video on how to fix a rusty van. Now you have to go around and drill out all of the uh, welding spots. And then pry away the, other, the rest of the metal. All the way around. Unfortunately on the front side, uh, the, the sheet metal goes behind this here. So I'd use my least favorite tool of all and that would be a uh, cutoff tool. That was pretty miserable. I got more to talk about later about this part. Same here, drill out these welding spots. I can't believe I bent the Harbor Freight drill bit. I paid $4 for this drill bit set. You know, I should go make the manager of my local Harbor Freight store aware of this tool quality. However, I did spend about 15 bucks on this uh, Sawzall blade, which is made of like diamonds and titanium or something like that. I gotta tell you, it's lasted me many, many hours of severe abuse. And trust me, I abuse the crap out of a sawzall. Well, technically, I started this job in the winter, but it is now springtime. This is what I like about Pennsylvania it's the change of seasons, which is so nice here. It's 8 o'clock. Please stop snowing. Like I said, um, this panel here. Now, this uh, part towards the front has these lips and stuff, so I'm assuming 
that somehow this would go on first somehow and well, whatever. We gotta cut off a lot of this to slip it in there because we're going in between the two panels. We're not going behind this. I think this is what would happen if if you put this one on first and then they're kind of one on top of it. Now here's something very peculiar. Look at this lip up here. I don't know if you can see that. I thought that was a lip going over the top there. It turns out this is the lip right here. So this is part of that middle stripe part. I have no idea why it bends here. So I'm gonna cut this off here. I have no idea what that's for. I look on the original one, I have no idea what this is. So I'm cutting off these wings, trimming this down both sides, and cutting off part of this thing. So never having done this before, I don't really don't know where to cut. Should I cut along this line here? Or part of the way up there? I'm gonna go part of the way up here. I guess leave more metal on and I guess it'd be a little bit prettier to putty that and then to kind of putty this seam. We'll see. I would, have to, I would have to say that the electric shears were absolutely priceless for cutting up this uh, really thin body panel. So they were definitely worth the money. I don't know how I would have cut this with a straight, a straight line, uh, this thin metal with anything else. I do not have to cut anything on down on the rear side. That's going to slip in there fine. All right, I got all the sides ground out. Everything all cleaned up. I think I did a pretty good job of eyeballing where to cut for the panel. So I'm going to try to put it on there. I'm going to put a little bracket along that shelf area just so the panel has something to glue to. Because it's really just a thin piece of metal. Okay, how will I be attaching these panels? I'll be using the old controversial 3M panel bonding adhesive. I think this stuff works great. Some of the people think the panels will come flying off in a week from now. Anyway, this when I first did uh, the uh, panel on the uh, camper side, on the lower portion uh, a few years ago, this, this gun here was 100 bucks. So I made my own out of a regular caulking gun. It was pretty sloppy, but it kind of worked. But then I found these aftermarket versions of the guns for like 40 bucks. Definitely worth getting it. Okay. Well, putting that on was definitely a two or three man job. I did it by myself. I ended up sticking a, a rivet at the top and then just banging away at it. And I had a problem obviously lining up the sheet metal with everything else because it's like it's actually pretty bent up by the time you actually end up putting it on the vehicle. That's just me. I don't know how yours is going to turn out. So I ended up using a lot of rivets while the glue is drying. The glue is not like, uh, well, adhesive is not like bath and caulk. It is kind of hard to put on, I think. The bottom part I clamped. Of course, clamps don't like clamping to slippery curved metal. So that L-shaped piece of metal I put inside, that was so I could uh, rivet this against it. Because I remember on the other side, there was really nothing to hold the panel against that real thin piece of metal that's sticking out. The top I riveted, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there. So if you want to put in the comments how normally people would do that, go ahead. Nice comments. I'm not sure how a real body shop would have done this. I guess maybe they would have uh, cut the metal here with the new panel and butt welded or something. I don't know. This has all been done with putty and stuff like that. The side's been painted, so I am wet sanding it right now. Get ready to buff. Okay, all buffed out. Um, part where the stripe goes, I did not buff out or anything like that because I'm just going to sand that down and paint the stripe back in there.